could you recycle an entire house? Well, that challenge has been put to the test with some surprising results. Chelsea Daniels explains. If anything positive has come from the red zone, the whole house reuse exhibition at the Canterbury Museum would be it. The exhibition details the unique challenge of reusing an entire house to save it from waste. The Rekindle team started out looking for a house in the red zone that they would be able to use and they worked with Sarah to find a house that met, met their criteria. They needed it to be made of native timber, um, to be one storey and to be easy, to, easy enough to dismantle. And so the project to reuse every single piece of 19 Admirals Way Began. And then through to dismantling the house over a 10 day period um, with the help of a salvage company and a lot of volunteers and then cataloguing the object, cataloguing all the bits of material that came from the house and then um, giving these to artists to make many different objects from. Around 250 people from New Zealand and around the world have assisted in recreating the house, transforming pieces of wood, plastics and metals. We've got lots of local artists including Dallas Matoy who is a carver who's made some very beautiful papaho or treasure boxes. We've got Hamish Southcott who has made some fantastic lamps and other objects in the exhibition. Um, there are also a lot of workshops with local people, um, school children and um, others that have made puppets and printed material and other things. International artists were also able to get their hands on some scraps. We have um, at least three works that come from overseas. We have um, some glass works which were made by a former Nelson artist who has moved to an isolated Scottish island and um, she made beautiful glass works from broken glass pieces that were sent to her and then posted back to New Zealand and they all made it back in one piece. Uh, we also have um, some typeset that was made um, in London by a New Zealander living there. Um, his friend had to take the timber over to him on plane in his hand luggage and we had a group of um, design students who were um, with their teacher in the US who did a piece as well. The project was the brainchild of Rekindle, a social company that seeks to bring creativity and positive change in the way resources are valued. I think it was about a two, at least a two year process. Um, we started talking to the whole house reuse team towards the end of last year and um, really started organising the exhibition from the beginning of this year. The exhibition is a great example of how Cantabrians turn disaster into innovation and opportunity. It's certainly a unique exhibition in New Zealand because of its connection to, the, to Christchurch and to the Canterbury earthquakes and um, the fact that an entire house has been used, dismantled and so many different objects have been made from it. I can't imagine that there's ever been anything else done on this scale in New Zealand. Nearly 100 items from the exhibition will be auctioned off next month, with the remaining 300 pieces being donated and some being gifted to the house's previous tenants. The auction is taking place on the 24th of August at the Isaac Theatre Royal here in Christchurch. Proceeds from the auction next month will go towards Rekindle's next project. Rekindle uh, is currently, the next project is going to be um, working with Kilmarnock Enterprises. So that's an established Christchurch company who create meaningful work for people with disabilities. And there's a few things in the exhibition that Kilmarnock Enterprises have made, especially carved toys, because wood turning is one of their main things. Tickets to the auction are available online. Chelsea Daniels, CTV News.